Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Inner Circle. Today, we are going to talk about the Tonda GT, gone but not forgotten. They are now discontinued as a series. Uh, and while I can't begrudge Parmigiani Fleurier for wanting to streamline their products and draw even more attention and more consistent attention to Tonda PF as a line. I certainly really liked the Tonda GT for a number of reasons that I will try to explain in this video. Um, and in a way, it's bittersweet because, as you guys know, for the collector for the enthusiast who hunts for a deal, these sorts of model lines that fall off and that are not necessarily appreciated and certainly not appreciated at this moment can be actually great bargains. Not necessarily because they will pick up for sure after a while, but most certainly because they actually have a certain horological value inherently and for those who like them for those who want to wear them and enjoy them the fact that the mainstream market the fact that uh, the average collector isn't interested in them means that they can be found for cheaper on the secondary market and in this particular case we are talking about pieces uh, that were made in very limited numbers in the first place. Um, so you are getting something quite unique and something that will not uh, be produced anymore. Let's start with uh, the Tonda GT Pure and Simple, even though there is nothing simple about it. Um, this is a time and date watch which has a beautiful ice blue dial for a limited edition exclusive to Japan. That ice blue dial has, in a way, three different sectors, kind of uh, pure blue minute track, the hour track with a kind of radial guilloche decoration and a triangular pattern for the guilloche decoration at the center. Literally called triangular nails. Clou triangulaire. And you also have a kind of Cyclops look in the sense that you have, a, again, radial guilloche on a silvered subdial for the seconds, which show the 60 seconds with two scales that sit on each other uh, with two hands off varying length of course you also happen to have the big date the oversized date at 12 o'clock skeletonized alpha hands which are actually quite a common sight in parmigiani's sportier watches and you have the larger Tonda integrated bracelet aesthetic in a 42 millimeter case and with the same kind of stainless steel bracelet you get uh, in the Tonda PF and of course the finely fluted bezel I think this time simply in stainless steel for the sportier version of the Tonda
I think this is a very cool bracelet with a self-winding movement. Not a micro rotor one, one with a full rotor, which has a power reserve of 45 hours. The pieces are water resistant up to 100 meters. And the movements are handsomely decorated, if not necessarily to uh, the highest uh, echelons of high horology. This particular piece has certainly been worn used but not abused and it comes as a full set which includes an extra dépliant buckle and two options for a rubber strap for the Tonda GT Ice Blue one of only 100 pieces listed by a professional dealer out of Japan for the buy it now price of 18,212 in US dollars with the option to send in your bid so you can try to negotiate a better deal for yourself. Forty-two millimeter case size again on the integrated bracelet watch, and the time and date version is eleven point two millimeters thick, which is nice and balanced for the dimensions. Next, we have the chronograph version. The Tondograph uh, GT is actually an annual calendar as well. It has uh, a case similarly in 42 millimeters in diameter, 13.7 millimeters in thickness. And this unique three-tone blue dial with a more finely graduated scale for the seconds, since this is a chronograph, that radial groove for the hour track and the unique guilloche decoration at the center of the dial. Silvered chronograph registers with a 12 hour counter at six o'clock, 30 minute totalizer at nine, and at three, you have that signature dashboard style continuous running seconds within which you also have an aperture for the display of the month. As you can see, the wheels for the month, as well as the oversized dates at 12 o'clock are nicely coordinated in this deep shade of blue with the rest of the dial. The signature is at 12 o'clock, which makes it a much more balanced watch visually compared to the time and date version. And once again, you have the skeletonized alpha hands for hour and minutes. I think the pushers look really cool and feel like an integrated part of the design overall. This is once again a limited edition for Japan, one of 100.
And here, of course, that uh, wheel trim or rim look of the rotor looks even more appropriate for this chronograph that certainly takes a number of uh, different elements from mid-century sports chronographs, pilots chronographs, and blends them in its unique mix. The fact that this is an annual calendar means that as long as you keep the watch running, that you will only have to adjust it at the beginning of March, at the end of the short month, since annual calendars cannot account for that. But otherwise, you're good to go for the rest of the year, where you will have the right month and date showing at all times. The chronograph movement two has 45 hours of power reserve. And it is absolutely unique when it comes to its combination with an annual calendar complication. Even though they now have a high beat movement in the series that has replaced it in the Tonda PF chronograph, I think this is uh, just a very cool package, you know, between the big date, the self-winding chronograph and annual calendar, you, you get a pretty nice and unique piece. And here also a spectacular combination of various shades of blue with the silver subdials for contrast, which of course plays along really well with the stainless steel case and integrated bracelet. Once again, you have a watch that is actually in a pretty good condition, certainly worn with some hairline scratches, but nothing to write home about. And once again, a full set that offers you two additional options for the rubber strap in addition to the integrated bracelet. And they come with their own deployant clasp for ease of interchangeability. This is the Tondagraph GT. Yoshida special model, stainless steel with the unique blue dial, full set, listed by a professional dealer out of Japan, with the buy it now price 18477 But the seller remains open to negotiation, so feel free to send them a bid that aligns better with your particular budget for this watch. Now we have something more limited, but an international limited edition. We are going back to the time and date. Green still remains the color of the season. So we have this Tonda GT with a nice pine green dial with those again um, 
same kinds of decorations, which includes the radial grooving for the hour track and that unique clou triangulaire guilloche decoration at the center of the dial, those unique triangular nail motif on the integrated bracelet. The piece does come as a full set with its box and papers, its unique certificate, as well as outer packaging. One of only 20 in a very well preserved condition. Once again, listed out of Japan by a professional dealer for the buy it now price of 20,562 US dollars. But you should absolutely feel free to send in your bids since they remain open to negotiation. And once again, this is a 42 millimeter piece in diameter and is only 11.7 millimeters thick for the time and date version. Which offered an interesting alternative, both in terms of its proportions and uh, aesthetics. And of course, with the fact that it is all in stainless steel. And once again, you are getting a limited edition, one of only 20 pieces. All of that being said, I think my favorite has to be the ice blue dial. I really adore this particular shade of blue and it somehow works with the finishing, with all the finishing that's going on in this style. As much as I like the chronograph um, and I think it's the best bang for your buck, this would be my pick of the litter. But of course you are getting a lot more as a watch at this price point, imagine with um, right a click above the list price of a Rolex Daytona, you are getting an integrated bracelet, sports watch, all in stainless steel in 42 millimeters uh, of diameter. You are getting the big date, you are getting the annual calendar on top of the self winding chronograph. You are getting the option of interchangeability. You can wear it on the bracelet, you can wear it on one of the rubber straps that are supplied with the watch. Have fun with it, enjoy it. Um, avail yourself of its inert horological value and just overall coolness in terms of the design as well. If you have any questions about these particular listings about the Tonda GT and Parmigiano Fleurier as a brand, please uh, feel free to reach out to me. You can write to me directly on Patreon. You can find me on Instagram at young.brando. And you can most certainly write me an email at lordhellespontv at gmail.com, lordhellespontv at gmail.com with any watch-related questions. I remain at your service. Thank you for your support and presence. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Until then, take care.